going to turn these office supplies and this shoe box into a cool and awesome smartphone projector. We improvise, all right? To build the project, you'll need to find the following stuff at home. A magnifying glass, a foam board, a roll of masking tape, a cutter, your smartphone, a hot glue gun, a ruler, and don't forget the shoe box itself. Just clean the table up and just grab your magnifying glass. Use your hacksaw to carefully cut off the handle. Once you're done, we'll be using the glass for the projector's lens. Just set that aside from now and go grab your shoe box. This will be used as the housing for our project. Elmer's Glue, your trusted brand of PVA glue. Just kidding, I'm not really endorsing. Open the flaps of the box, then reinforce it with lots and lots of glue. This will prevent it from wobbling later on after we cut a huge hole for the projector's lens. Just do the same thing for the other side just to make sure. Use your fingers to evenly spread out the glue. Then close back the flaps of the box. You don't want to mess this up, so let the glue set for a couple of minutes just to make sure. After the glue dries, position your magnifying glass at the center and use a pencil to trace around it. To cut off an exact hole, you can use your X-Acto knife and a compass to do the job. It's just like drawing a circle, but this time you're cutting a perfectly round one. If you do get to cut off the cardboard correctly, your magnifying lens should fit perfectly. Once you're satisfied, use hot glue to mount the glass on your cardboard. Once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Oh no, there's a protrusion. Well, we can remove that by using our previous cutout as a stencil, then use an X-Acto knife to remove the excess cardboard. Let's put the lid back on. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, now we will make the stand that will hold the phone for the projector. I guess we can make that out of foam board. We'll just have to cut fractions of it and just make sure that it fits perfectly inside the box. Now for the legs of the stand, we'll have to cut another fraction of foam board and just hot glue them together. Just make sure they stay perpendicular to each other to prevent image distortions on the projections later on. Cut some strips of your sticky double-sided padding tape. Then mount your phone at the center of the stand so that later on the phone will align to the lens of the projector. We're almost done. All that's left is to set your phone to the highest brightness, then lock your screen. So when you play a video, the screen stays upside down. The science behind this is that the lens will invert the image that will be projected on the wall later on. Okay, this is the final step. Like all projectors, this one needs to be calibrated. You can do so by adjusting the distance of the phone screen from the projector's lens. The effect will be able to gain focus as you move the phone back and forth. My only tip is just to have fun and play with it. So that's pretty much how you make your own smartphone projector out of a shoebox and some office supplies.